Hey guys, Dan Lucart here with Barefoot Tesla. We're going to look at an interesting example of FSD Beta 8.1 today. And this is coming from AI Driver's YouTube page. So go ahead and check it out. Driver is spelled a little weird, so I'm going to link it in the description. So be sure you like and subscribe his page as well. So he gives three different instances of the same turn in this video. And he speculates that possibly the system is learning on the fly. And he received a lot of uh, criticism based on this claim. So we're going to evaluate this, see what could be going wrong and throw out some, or could, could be happening rather, and throw out some hypothesis on what's, what the deal is. So this first time he's going in, I'm going to pause it, he's going into municipal only lane. And if you look at the GPS, his turn is just beyond that. So the system doesn't quite know that this is uh, only municipal lane. It's, uh, you can see the cones up there. And it continues onward. It's kind of searching around the cones. The predicted path is like going, what do I do? Do I go around this thing? And then it eventually proceeds to make a right turn and goes the wrong direction. Okay, fine. Failure. Now, this he decides to do another another go around at it. And this is the most interesting one. So we approach in the same manner. We're coming up to a red light. We just uh, made a right turn onto the street. And this time, it's quite curious. It gets way out of this lane, doesn't even think about going in the other, um, in the municipal lane, and just kind of chills over here. Let me go back a few frames. Chills over here in this very awkward spot to, in an attempt to get around that. Now, the third one is kind of unfortunate. We're going to start rounding the corner. He has a lead car, but it's kind of interesting. Um, well, first, a lead car we know, we already all know, th that a lead car can help things when the car is unsure. If we're going through a long intersection where the lane lines aren't particularly marked, that lead car kind of pulls you through to a certain extent and keeps the car confident. Now, as it's turning, though, it's labeling that car in the parallel lane. You see how this car is labeled blue? That means it's an adjacent vehicle. It does not intend on going in that lane at this point. Otherwise, it would be projected green. Immediately, once we get in this lane, here it lights up, and the car makes a quick lane change right before it lines up. So the car didn't really anticipate that being the lead car for it, until it actually made the light change. So what's going on here? What could possibly be at work? Well, my first guess that I went down was potentially there's some reinforcement learning going on with the, with the planning portion of the stack. So we have perception, planning, and then we actually carry it out with the controls of the vehicle. And the way that Tesla does this is in segregated tasks. It does the, plan, the, the perception with the hand label. We call that supervised learning because it's hand labeling the data. And then it takes that data. And this is the most fuzzy part for me and the weakest link in FSD beta right now, which is the, the drive path planning, basically. How do we take that information and do something with it? And different companies are going about this different ways. For example, comma AI, they aren't breaking down um, it into a perception, then planning, then realizing it on the vehicle. They're taking pixels in and then getting a decision. So there's no labeling. It's unsupervised data, and they're doing it all through reinforcement learning. The definition I like of reinforcement learning versus supervised learning, in supervised learning, the weights depend on the data, right? Um, and this is obviously true, but the uh, in reinforcement learning, the data depends on the weights. <laughs> yeah. Right? And actually, both ways. <laughs> that's, uh, that's poetry. So that's brilliant. <laughs> how does it know what data to turn on? Well, let it pick. Uh, we're not there yet, but that's the eventual. So you're thinking this almost like a reinforcement learning framework. We're going to do RL in the world. Yeah. Every time a car makes a mistake, user disengages, we train on that and do RL in the world. Ship out a new model. That's an epoch, right? So I was keeping a very sharp eye on potential for reinforcement learning on Tesla's weak point, where they were seeming to approach... Uh, turns and navigating the GPS with some sort of heuristic based approach. Maybe like cut, okay, this turn is at 90 degrees. Let's pull the car this way. I commented in that in, in previous videos. And we can see where that starts to go wrong in some of these turns and intersections. So that could be what's going on. Um, how, so basically how that would work. What would be the symptoms of that if we were seeing reinforcement learning? Well, the car would make an exploration and if you disengage, that would provide negative reward. So it would essentially train the system over time 
to um, try a different path. If you don't disengage, it would be positively rewarded. So it can do these mild experimentations. That's essentially how it would work. Now, after further digging, I don't think that that is what's going on. What I found here in the uh, FSD code is there's a option for FSD only to allow cached vision lanes. So it's very possible that on a disengagement, it's, uh, it's particularly relating to GPS navigation where it just goes the wrong way and it kind of knows it went the wrong way, where it can cache the lanes and then locally cache them and then use that in, you know, in future approaches. So that's my hypothesis for what's going on in these three instances. Maybe you guys can keep a lookout for when the car approaches in seemingly identical scenarios, the same intersection in two different ways as it improves over time. I seem to remember one of the beta testers having this example, but I can't seem to recall it as it happened a few weeks ago. But keep your, keep your eyes peeled as a collective community on is there any reinforcement learning or learning on the fly? Because this could be done locally, the cache. Just store it in cache, store it. Okay, we know that this lane is the wrong lane. Let's go in this one. Because they're going to have to learn to overcome construction and and unplanned lane closures and things like that. So that would be a definite good feature. But keep your eye peeled for signs of reinforcement learning on the, uh, on the uh, planning portion of the stack. Anyways, uh, take your time to like and subscribe. It keeps these videos going and stay tuned for the next one.